Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we have two suggestions. One very quick. Two suggestions. Yeah. Wow. One very quick question from Jana uh, Swiggett. And then probably there'll be 15 minutes of dark <laughs> darkness in the video. <laughs> like in I, the may, I may leave another 15 minutes at the end. <laughs> or meditation. And <laughs> exactly. So Jana Swiggett wants to ask a question, which, which we're going to ask. And then Angel T also has another question about miedo. Okay. Vale. Uh, and this is Which an, one first? Uh, we'll do the Jana one Jana. first. Venga, Jana. Así que nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, Cynthia. Jana Swigert is was referring to um, a video that we did. It was about, um, I hope I haven't made you nervous or anxious, yeah? And she said, she says, Se puede decir, espero que no estés nervioso por mi culpa. Claro. Yeah. Espero que no estés nervioso por mi culpa. Por mi culpa. O, espero que no te haya puesto nervioso. Which is what we were talking about and the, the thing. So she's just saying, is that as an alternative, would that work? Yeah, you yeah. can say that. I hope that you are not nervous. Would you be nervous? Because I always struggle uh, like, with it. No, it's like anxious. Anxious or upset. Upset. But upset is like when you cry. No, no, no. You Sometimes. can also be upset in any, any way. Nervioso yeah. is like, well, in, in Espanol, nervioso. Como, I don't know, you've got like um, um, a job interview and you've got... Well, nerves, yeah? yeah. So you're nervioso. But in English, <laughs> nerves is one thing. No, but, but nervioso is uh, nervous. What is nervous then? Wait a minute. What is nervous? Nervous is when you're going to do something and you're, you're scared. Well, that's it, nervioso. Right. But no, no, no. No, no, no. It's got nothing to do. <laughs> this this kind of nervioso is angry. It's angry. Um, ¿Por estás tan nerviosa? Okay. It's angry. It's what we would say is angry. I hope I didn't make you angry with my comment. No, I didn't make you frightened by my comment. That wouldn't make any sense. <sighs> Then I don't know if we would use nervioso. Estoy un poco nerviosa. Like agitated. Agitated. Uh, did I not say that? Just rewind this. Did, did I you not say, say it was agitated? agitated? <laughs> you you re, rebutted did you, that. Did right. you not say anxious? Anxious, agitated, anxious. Same thing. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll double check. Okay, so But yes. Si sí se puede. Si sí se puede, Jana. Okay, now, sí. Angel T. O, o nerviosa, if you're talking about a woman. To a woman. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I just want to give a shout out to Chris. Chris. Or like Chris. Chris, like Chris. Chris, over a long period of time, has sent lots of suggestions and things like yes. that. Yes. But he made me laugh my head off. Why? Because he sent a, a, a message and he said, just as an aside, Gordon, What's going on with the giant cup <laughs> that you use? That's not the biggest I've seen. I remember when we used to. They, they say, I don't know if it still exists, but in Darlington, in the mm. the mill, what was it called? Cost, the windmill. It was Costa no, Coffee. Windmill. It was Costa Coffee that they opened, wasn't it? No. Well, it was a um, library. There was a library. It wasn't a Costa Coffee. What was the name of the library? What? Waterstones. Waterstones. Yeah. Okay, there was a library there that we used to go. <laughs> and Gordon used to order this coffee. And I'm not joking, it was double this. It was it was a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. I've seen the swimming pool smaller it was than big. it was I was like, what the hell? But what, what Chris said was what's you going on? You could finish on? the whole book with that coffee. What's going on with the big cup? It looks like you've just stepped out of a um, a scene out of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice Alice in Wonderland en español? Eh, Alicia en el país de las maravillas. De las maravillas. Ok, so, muchas gracias, Chris, por sí. la, la risa. Ok, so, Angel T says, I have a question which I think might be related to this gustar structure. Ok, I read the following sentence in Spanish. ¿A qué le tienes miedo? Muy bien. Ok, what are you afraid of? If this is the gustar structure, one. Why is the a before the word que? <laughs> I answered. I answered both of them. <laughs> okay. I'm too fast answering. <laughs> you are. Um, but yes, of course, because we say tenerle miedo a algo. 
So the yeah. a in this one is a preposition. It's the preposition it requires. So, tenerle miedo a algo. Yo le tengo miedo a... No sé. ¿A qué? A, a entrar en lugares oscuros. A la oscuridad, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. O yo les tengo pánico o miedo, terror, a las garrapatas. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo. Es verdad. So, es tenerle miedo a... Tenerle miedo a algo. Mm -hmm. Can you leave the layout and say tener miedo a... Tengo miedo... Sí, you can say that as well. Tengo miedo... You can also say tener miedo de algo. Uh -huh. Okay, that's, a, that's another possibility. Tengo miedo de las garras... O oh, oh, that something does something to me. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, tengo miedo de que me despidan. That's okay, a trigger so, for the subjunctive, so isn't it? So, I'm, I'm afraid that I may get fired. Or that they fire me, they we would say. They may fire me, yeah. And tengo miedo de that something happens. ¿Sí? So, you can use the, Tengo miedo de perder mi trabajo. Yes. Okay, that, that's not a trigger. That, no. You can just put the, the verb on. But if you say de qué, subjunctive, okay. Yeah. It, de right. qué would be when something else, when somebody else does something to you and you're scared of that. If you say Tengo miedo de perder, that would be when you do the same action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of losing. The, I'm, I'm scared of losing my job or I'm scared that... They're going to fire me. That would be the trigger. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Are we getting into a dark area here? No. Subjunctive in the... area, no. But yes. Um, okay. So, tenerle miedo a algo. O tener miedo de algo. De algo. So, but the second part of the question is interesting. Uh, Angel says, if you're asking the person, why use le? Why not te? Okay. Okay. So, because the le goes with the thing you're scared of. Absolutely. It's not, yes. they're not, not saying, saying you. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> so, in that sentence, what we're doing, what we're doing is, we're saying, to what and are you scared? Yeah. And there is this to what is the le. To what? What? What thing are you scared of? So, the le is referring to the thing, not the person. The person in the verb is tienes, no? That's the, the verb is actually referring to the person and the le yes. is referring to the thing that they're scared yes. of, yeah? Les tengo miedo a los perros. Okay, so I'm using tengo, that's referring to me. The les is referring to the dogs. Exactly. Yeah? Okay. Eso o es tengo miedo de los perros. Mm -hmm. O tengo miedo de que un perro me muerda. Again, you see, that's something or somebody else does something to me. Trigger. Mm -hmm. um, tengo miedo de... De... De eh, quemarme. Que, durante de quemarme. el verano. Vale, de quemarte durante el verano. Muy bien, Gordon. Sí, que no tengo miedo. So if I ask him a question, then it would be... ¿Le tienes miedo a los perros? ¿O les tienes miedo a los perros? No, no les tengo vale. miedo. ¿Tienes miedo de quemarte este verano por ser no. inglés? Por ser inglés. No, no soy no. una gamba. Vale, muy bien. Sí. <laughs> so there you are. So that, that, all that's happening is, it's, this is not um, like gustar. No. This is not gustar. a gustar indirect kind of sentence. No. 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 Because the verb would go with the person. Por ejemplo, yo... And then tengo. Yo le tengo mm -hmm. miedo a la oscuridad. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? O yo le tengo miedo, o yo les tengo miedo a los gatos, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. Gordon, más. Pero yo no. Um, miedo no. Pero gustar, eh, la parte de gusta va con lo que te gusta, because we say it's pleasing, that thing is pleasing to me, o pleases yeah. me, o they please me. Uh -huh. Entonces, me gusta, no me gusto, ¿no? Me gusta, yo que sé, me gusto, but that's different. Absolutely. Me gusta mm, la vainilla, ¿vale? O me gustan los caramelos de vainilla. Mm -hmm. yeah. ¿Sí? So, so the, in, in the gustar uh, structure, the lay 
or me or te is referring to the person and the, the verb is referring to the thing. In this structure, the pronoun is referring to the things sí. and the verb is referring to the person. So it's the opposite way around. Eso right? es. Bueno. <laughs> Doblemente <laughs> respondida, Angel T. <laughs> Muy bien. Eh, online y en, en vídeo. Ok. Sí. Entonces, eso es todo de momento. And now, a word from our sponsors. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. William. <laughs> William. <laughs> Bueno, oh, suena un poco irlandés, ¿no? William. Muchas gracias. Ay, Dios mío, ya empezamos con los ya empezamos con lo, los acentos, con los acentos. Con los acentos. <laughs> so what we'd like to bring to your attention today is that um, the very first course that I did uh, as a solo project was uh, learning to conjugate the verbs in present tense. He loves to say as a solo project. I don't love to say that. I said it. I, I, truth of the matter, I, as I said it, I felt a little bit anxious about saying it because I thought... It's like, I've, I've, only, I've done it by myself. Cynthia's, I thought, Cynthia's Cynthia not going to let helped. me get away with that. She's going to mention that I mentioned it was a solo event. Okay? Cynthia does solo things as well. Right? Yeah. Like cleaning. No, your book clubs and stuff like that. Déjame hacer algo por mi propia cuenta. Hang on, I'll move so you I don't I don't disturb your your solo. <laughs> I'll move here. Come to the center. Come to the center. I'm not going to do anything. No, 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 no. Déjame el espacio personal again para mi ego. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do this. <laughs> Thank you. Your solo project. <laughs> so, if you would like to be to better understand how to conjugate verbs in present tense. Because it's a challenge. Because it's not just the, you know, it isn't just the regular ones. You know, in in Spanish, eighty percent of Spanish verbs are irregular. A la eighty. Eighty percent. Yeah, I was told that when I went to, to Mexico. <laughs> the the production manager told me that as I went to Mexico. He said, you know, eighty percent of the verbs are irregular, and I felt my heart drop <laughs> at that moment. I felt so dis deflated. However, <laughs> that sounds like a lot. <laughs> no, doesn't it? it? Yeah, a lot. So. Uh, we go through that, we go through the present tense, we go through the regular, the irregular, and we also look at uh, the way that haber is conjugated in the present perfect tense as well. Okay, so if, you, if you're not sure about that, if you've got a bit of confusion, that course will sort you out and you'll have a good system to be able to use. We talk about the boot verb and we use all of these little memory aids to help you remember. Yeah, bueno, eso es todo, Cintia, muchas gracias. A ti, muy bien. Eh, y ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.